Hey brothers, this is Pastor Vance. Welcome to Weekly Wisdom. I'd like to share with you out of 1 Samuel, the 30th chapter. Um, you know, it says, verse 1 now, and it happened when David and his men came to Ziglag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziglag attacked Ziglag and burned it with fire and taken captive the women and those who were there from the small to great and did, did not kill anyone, but carried them away and went their way. So David, when he returned to his city, he saw that it was burned with fire, that all his women, his children, everything was gone. And it says the men with him wept so much that they couldn't even weep anymore, that there was no more left of grieving and they, for the loss and for what they're seeing. Here they are out doing the will of God, fighting for God, and they return back and to find everything taken from them. And so what's crazy is these same men came to a cave called Adullam with David to hang out with him. And the Bible says they were all in distress, they were in debt, they were discontented. They didn't have a lot of purpose. After hanging out with David, they gained their wealth back, they gained their dignity back, they actually began to have, prosper in all aspects of life. And they were out and they were becoming strong warriors. And they celebrated David. But then the first time that something starts going wrong or something goes really bad, they want to kill David. They want to step up and kill him. So, you know, don't the people that celebrate you can also turn around and crucify you so just understand that it's just part of life and wisdom says don't get too caught up in the accolades of man realize that your praise should come from the lord that's wisdom enough but the next part of this is you find out what did david do in this situation because now everything's been taken he's a mighty powerful warrior god is with him he could literally go extract revenge on his enemies but he's standing there with a bunch of men who are just totally upset so he does something in this verse 6 that's really profound, and there's an art to this. Now David was greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stoning him, because of the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and his daughters. But David, but David, strengthened himself in his God. He strengthened himself in the Lord. Now how did he do that? Here's how I believe he did it. I believe he rehearsed the victories he experienced. I believe he went back when he was a shepherd boy and he killed the lion. He killed the bear. I believe he talked about when he killed the, the giant. I believe he began to rehearse what God had done in his life. When he killed the 200 Philistines and took the foreskins and threw them down before Saul. I believe he began to rejoice and rehearse. Now God is with me. These are the things he's done. But he didn't just go after rehearsing and strengthening himself in the Lord. He didn't just go then and destroy the enemy. He took the next step, which is so important when you're in situations that are so intense. He sought the Lord and inquired of the Lord, what should I do? We need to find out what's on God's heart because God might have said, hey, I'll restore all this to you. Don't worry. But no, he said, you go and take it and you'll recover all. So he heard from the Lord and then he was able to get up, take his men and go and recover everything that they lost. Wisdom is don't react before you inquire of the Lord. And don't allow your emotions or your anger or your frustration to drive you to do something that you didn't even ask the Lord if you're supposed to go and do. I've been guilty of that because when somebody does you wrong, the first thing you want to do is take it back out on them, defend yourself, get a bunch of people around you that will agree with you that they're wrong and you're right. But you know, if we would just step back, strengthen ourselves, remind ourselves of what God has done in our life, and then ask God, what should we do from this point? We'll be amazed at the results we get. So Weekly Wisdom says this, Strengthen yourself in God. Don't sell it. Don't those people that celebrate, you know, they can crucify you later. So don't always put your trust in man, put your trust in God and listen to what God has to say after you sought him and strengthen yourself in him, then obey. God bless you. I hope this sentence encourages you. If you'd like to join our YouTube channel, hit the, the little button there. And if you want notifications, you can hit the little bell there for notifications when we have our services at 10, 8, uh, 10 15 on Sunday morning, a.m. God bless you. I hope you can join and watch us live.